For the last eight years, I have been creating and filmmaking primarily for other people. In August, I turned 28, which is so crazy <laughs> to think about. As I'm quickly approaching an entire decade of professional filmmaking experience and quickly approaching 30, <laughs> I've realized something. I have forgotten and neglected what brought me here in the first place. And I think that happens to a lot of us. I'll carve your name into the sun, love you till my days are done, I'll never let go. You're the fire inside my blood, burn bad and leave a good night. You know, I've channeled all that creative energy and inspiration into projects for clients and an employer. And I've learned so much. I've grown so much. And I owe that to all of those projects that I've worked on throughout my 20s. I don't think I would be the person that I am if I hadn't have had all of these years of just pouring everything that I had into serving others. began so long ago. <laughs> Born from the little visions of a little girl. The girl that I once was. I suppose she's still inside somewhere, but I think she got a little lost. When I separate myself from the constant to-do list, backlog of edits, and that impulse to just refresh my socials and my email, checking, checking, checking all the time, I find little glimpses of that little girl. At such a young age, I had found my thing. <laughs> I found my joy. I found what I feel like I was created to do by God. And that was filmmaking. And it sounds very sophisticated, but it certainly didn't start that way. <laughs> it started with a little blue camera. It was handed down to me from my big sister who pioneered the way for YouTube for me. She had started making incredibly witty and funny 
skits and just the most ridiculous videos and of course I wanted to be just like her and so that's what started it all. I remember I had this blue iPod mini, <laughs> if anyone remembers what those are, and I had loaded, you know, countless songs onto it that were purchased with iTunes gift cards and maybe some illegally downloaded through LimeWire. <laughs> and I remember listening to music and these visuals just being painted in my mind. Every song that I would listen to, I feel like I was creating this visual story in my mind and it wasn't you know, fine art. It was like the moving picture type of art. It was just something that came so naturally to me that I couldn't even explain how it was happening. It just happened. I remember thinking that I wanted to be the person that picks the music for movies. Like, what music goes where. I don't even know if that's a thing. I mean, it is a thing. I just don't know what that's called. <laughs> This is the room. And this is where all of this started. I spent so much time in this room. <laughs> On my computer, filming, editing, talking to people online, and just feeding into this spark in me to create. My parents used to question why I spent so much time in this room. It was so innocent and pure and I was just honoring that little spark in me that was telling me to create. As I grew into a teenaged girl, that inevitable hurdle finally came where people at school found out about my YouTube channel and out of embarrassment, I deleted everything. With one click, all of it was gone. I still regret that so much. I mean, the reality is I never stopped creating. I was making videos all throughout my childhood, middle school, high school, college. Now I'm full time in my business and freelancing and creating wedding films and traveling all over and It's been incredible. But something happens when you start creating for money and you stop creating simply because it's literally bursting out of you. When we allow work to become our source, when performance becomes our God, when money becomes our motivation, when an algorithm determines our happiness, when we use every ounce of creative energy we can muster to pay our bills or build a following and leave none for the magic, the simple act of creating 
for the sake of making something that inspires our souls. Well, that, my friend, is where creative fulfillment dies and burnout ensues. It's almost a given. <laughs> and then we find ourselves asking, why do I even do this? So here I am at 28 years old and I'm finally learning that I have to go back to the beginning and I have to do it often. I have to find that little girl again because she wasn't creating because it was cool. She wasn't creating because it would pay the bills. <laughs> She wasn't creating for likes or follows. She wasn't creating for recognition. She wasn't creating because she thought her art was good. She wasn't creating to prove anything. She was creating from an outpouring of her heart. No video made was wasted time. It didn't matter who liked it or disliked it. Every video added joy to our life, and I think in turn added joy to other people's lives. I know that if I can find enough time and create enough margin in my life to create from that pure heart again, and to create for me, then that will only feed into the creative energy that I need to serve those that trust me to create for them. So that's what I'm working on.